got a couple stories for you guys. Uh, one of them is revisiting a story from the past dealing with the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED edition because it appears we have some marketing or promo material that somehow appeared online. I don't know. Maybe it ends up being fan created. We know our uh, good buddy Mike Odyssey tried to recreate the stuff in a higher quality, but this looks extremely official. But it's from a random user, so we're not going to spend too much time on it, but I will show you it later. We also have some news here about a brand new feature for Nintendo's next generation platform that I think is going to make a lot of people smile. And yes, this information comes from Nintendo themselves. What? Nintendo talking about their next-gen platform. What is going on? I don't know, folks, but before we dive into it, I want to remind you that, hey, we are on a road to 100,000 subscribers, and if we can hit 100K before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we are going to give away a special collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. That's right. You get that art book that, well, you know, unfortunately leaked. That kind of sucks that it did, but whatever. You get the art book, you get the pins, you get the what the steel book and that poster. Oh gosh, it is an amazing thing to get. Very hard to get, sold out very fast. We're gonna give away one of those if we get to 100k by Tears of the Kingdom. That being said, let's get into the news, and we'll start first with that Tears of the Kingdom related story, and that has to deal with the well promotional materials for Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED Edition. At this point, most people kind of figure that it's real, that it's true, that this is a thing that exists, but now we actually have a better look at it. These look like the sort of promo shots we get for all of the Switch OLEDs. You get it undocked, you get it in the dock, you get the dock just on its own. I feel like the dock just on its own may be missing a little details. I felt like there were some more subtle details we'd be able to see in the ring around the middle, but you know what? This stuff looks really, really good. It could be fan-made, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. It was posted up by Twitter user at HajuLinkL. I don't know anything about them. I don't know how they get their hands on this stuff. Again, it could be a fan-made thing, but it looks really, really good to me anyways. And at least gives us a much better look at what it should look like, assuming that this is the final form of this particular item. That being said, I want to actually spend a majority of this video talking about our second story, and that's because it deals with Nintendo's next generation platform and a feature it's going to have. So we all know that there's a massive, I don't know what to call it a lawsuit, but basically a lot of litigation happening around Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard, and we're getting a lot of legal documents through all of this process, and Nintendo is involved because they are a concerned party when it comes to fair competition. And the thing is, we're finding out about various features of different consoles, some good things, some bad things. We're finding out details about Game Pass, stuff we're not going to go into right now. Basically, Game Pass isn't remotely profitable and is hurting Microsoft um, short-term sales. But that's a, a different story for a different day. It's not really about Nintendo. Nintendo comes into this because Nintendo's online functionality was being compared and Nintendo had to submit documents over all of this stuff for legal reasons. And on page nine of a document submitted to the CMA, all these documents are released publicly, by the way, because this is a public case. It has some stuff in there that's been redacted that seems to heavily suggest Nintendo's next system. And here's what it says on page nine. Nintendo Switch Online has been excluded from our shares as Nintendo Cloud Gaming Service is very limited. Nintendo's Cloud Gaming Service, and again, this has to do with their, you know, their NES, their, their, their Super Nintendo, the N64, the Genesis, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, right? That's the their service they're talking about here, is only available on the Nintendo Switch device and redacted. Nintendo Switch Online gives gamers access to online play and cloud saving, amongst other features. We therefore see Nintendo Switch Online as predominantly an online multiplayer service rather than a cloud gaming service. That is just the findings of the CMA. But they had to redact a thing. So their cloud gaming service for video games is found on Nintendo Switch and blank. What would be that blank? They do not have the ability to play NSO games anywhere else but Switch right now. So what's the blank? The blank is obviously a future device because this case could be pending for years. So yeah, Nintendo had to bring up their future device. Obviously, they got it redacted before the th stuff was released publicly. But what do we get confirmation of or seeming confirmation of? 
that the Nintendo Switch online service when it comes to their games is going to be forward compatible with the next system. Now, we knew Nintendo accounts. Nintendo did announce Nintendo accounts would be compatible, but not the actual game service. This goes very well for backwards compatibility. I know that's not confirmed here, but if they're going to have forwards compatibility with their game service on NSO, then they're clearly going to have forward compatibility with, you know, their current games. Now, What's interesting is NSO is called Nintendo Switch Online. Does that mean this next device is also going to be a Nintendo Switch? Because that is the current branding that apparently is forward compatible. So, look, this is kind of big news. It's, it, it's like a because of the legal process, we're finding out something ahead of time that might have always been planned and is really cool. But now we can actually just like look you in the face and go, um, we have a legal document where Nintendo had to actually admit that it's going to be on their next device. That's crazy. It also kind of suggests to me that next device is probably out by the end of next year. Of course, everything seems to be pointing to that anyways. That being said, I want to get your thoughts on these stories and whatever else down in the comments below. I'm also going to plead uh, that... People, please leave the spoilers for Tears of the Kingdom out of the comment section of videos that aren't about the, aren't about the spoilers. That would be something I just would greatly appreciate as a community if we can come together and agree, hey, let's only talk about the spoilers in the appropriate videos and sections that are about the spoilers rather than talking about them on everything. We know that big Tears of the Kingdom leak happened. I covered it. I had a video on it. We did a live stream on it. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where let's just be respectful of those that don't want to be spoiled and don't reveal that information in areas that aren't about it. Any content I do on spoilers moving forward will always be labeled. You'll always know and you're only going to consume it if you want to. So you know what you're getting into rather than just on any other video. So please, I'm just pleading with my community. Do not let spoilers seep into our conversations here Anyways, that being said, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I want to remind you again about our Road to 100K giveaway. Uh, I, I can't wait. I, I'm dude, Tears of the Kingdom is all on my mind. It's hard for me to even cover the second story today because I just want to talk about Tears of the Kingdom so bad. But I need to, I need to keep it to myself. I need to rein it in. We have a podcast to do. We have other videos to get to. More to cover. And hey, drop your favorite emoji down below if you uh, have been playing Metroid Prime Remaster. Because, guys, I've been, I've, I've been getting pretty deep into Metro Prime Remaster. I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. I made a video already on it, so I, I don't have any more content coming. But Metro Prime Remaster is a remaster done right. I'll catch you guys in the next video.